I have Asperger's syndrome, I have discovered, at least I score incredibly highly on the test when I was diagnosed, and I know there's argument as to whether it exists, but really, um, I actually at one time had a medical coding certification, and the only reason Asperger's has been removed from the American uh, list of things, why they've stopped using the name and started just saying high-functioning autistic, is because of money and coding reasons, because saying that someone had Asperger's was not getting them the same level of help in the areas that they do have problems with as somebody who was autistic. So it became better to lump everybody into autism. But Asperger's syndrome is still a, um, in most of the world, it's still just a, a term used to indicate a person who has autistic tendencies and um, what those are, are um, just a difference in the way that I process things. I have no penchant for small talk. I am very, I, I, if I go in a grocery store, I need to get what I need and get out. Otherwise I'll get overwhelmed and start to have a breakdown. Um, not mental, but like everything just gets crazy in my head if there's too much color and stuff. I love music, I love dancing, whatever, but rows and rows of little bright things like in a store or fragrances and stuff really affect me. And um, the reason I bring up the Asperger's and the autism is because there's a huge connection between autistic children and abuse and assault because it's hard enough when you're a child to understand social norms and read people, but when you're on the spectrum, it becomes very, very strange, difficult, and confusing.